This is a demonstration of Allscripts Pro. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to call into the uh, test system. Uh, on the screen that you have here is an iPhone uh, with the app that goes with Call My Doc. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to call in as a test patient, and we're going to go through all the different steps that it takes to uh, deal with a patient call after hours. This will cover most of the major functionality of the Call My Doc system for after hours use. Welcome to All Scripts Pro Talk Office. The office is currently closed. If this is a medical emergency, please call 911 or go to the nearest emergency room. If you are an existing patient, please press 2 immediately to be helped as quickly as possible. Otherwise, please choose one of the following options. If you are a doctor, a hospital, an emergency room, or calling about critical life results, press 1. If you are an existing patient and would like to reach the doctor on call or leave a non-urgent message for our office, press 2. If you are calling for a pharmacy, press 3. If you are a new patient or would like to leave a message for our office for some other reason, press 4. If you are not an existing patient of all Scripts Pro Test Office, please go to our website and register for our practice through the patient portal. Now please provide the patient's date of birth by using the keypad to enter two digits for the month, two digits for the day, and four digits for the year. You have entered September 18, 1963. Is this correct? Yes, press 1. If no, press 2. Please wait while we look at the patient's medical chart. If you have an urgent need to speak with the doctor on call, press 1. If you have a question about your bill or loans or some other non-urgent issue you would like to share with my office, press 2. Would you like us to return your call to 310-561-8055? If yes, press 1. If no, press 2. So that we may confirm the patient's identity, please tell me your or her phone name. Please speak slowly and clearly. When done, press any key. Call Soba. Now, please briefly describe your reason for calling. Please speak slowly and clearly. When done, press any key. I lost the prescription that you gave me, and I need you to call in a refill of the little blue pills you prescribed to me two years ago. Once the doctor has listened to your message, we will contact you at 310-561-8055. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. You have a patient call. So that's the first part. Uh, we give every practice its own 844 number um, that they could forward their phones to. When the patients call in, they, just like your existing uh, front desk, they identify themselves with their date of birth, which is exactly what they would do during the day if they went to your practice. Uh, if they put in their date of birth and there's more than one chart with the patient's first name, we'll prompt for the first three letters of the patient's first name. And we'll continue to prompt for more information, but normally the, those two combinations um, find the right patient chart. Uh, once the patient's chart is found, they could do two things. They could contact the doctor on call, or they could leave a message for some other reason. If they press two to leave a message for some other reason, then they could say press one if you have a billing question, press two if you have a medication question, et cetera. Those will create tasks in Allscripts Pro that correspond to the nature of the question. Um, so right now, what we're gonna do is we're going to look at how we can respond to the patient from the app itself. I have my app set to uh, flash the screen, uh, wakes up and it actually says you have a patient call. I also have it set to text me and I could also have it set to call me within 15 minutes if I haven't opened the app. So when I press on this, it launches the app. Now, it's timed out, which means that most people stay logged in all the time with their username and password. But the timeout is if my app's been idle for a period of time, I need to put in a pin code so that people can't just look at patient information on my phone. Now that photo and the names coming in real time out of All Scripts Pro, we don't copy any data. Uh, that was obviously matched using my date of birth. And when I press on it, it's pulling more information off the chart. 
Uh, the top half of the screen is going to pull the patient's uh, demographics. The bottom half of the screen is the patient's message converted from speech to text. And I can also play it in case I'm not quite clear what the patient said. Colonel Silva, I lost the prescription that you gave me and I... So from there, what you do is your finger, your thumb, you swipe the screen from right to left, like you're rotating a cube. And now I've got a patient snapshot. Again, it's coming in real time out of the patient's chart. And I have uh, the patient's uh, date of the last visit. I have uh, some demographics. I have uh, five, uh, excuse me, the most recent diagnostic codes from the three most recent visits. Allergies. I have the three most recent lab results. And I have medications. So who is this patient? Why are they trying to reach me? what's happening with this patient today, even if I haven't seen them for a while, or it's not my primary patient, then you swipe the screen, you do something called take the session. So when I take the session, what that means is I'm about to do something with the patient. Um, if I want, I can hit this button and the green bar and call the patient back directly, which is gonna call me and the patient simultaneously. So first it calls me first as the provider on call. Uh, my patient phone is ringing and this would ring with the caller ID of your practice. Hello, this is All Scripts Protest Office calling you back. The doctor would like to speak with you now. now and we're connected. And then it goes just because both phones are in the same room. However, not all patients require me to call them back. As a matter of fact, this patient just needs a refill. So if I go to add response, these are all the automated things call my doc can do for me. And I don't have to call the patient or speak to anybody. Now I can write a fresh prescription from the uh, magnifying glass, but these, these are existing medications. So I'm gonna press on this one, um, put it here in the refills and it pulls the patient's default pharmacy off their chart. Uh, but if they didn't have a default pharmacy, you can press edit and search for any pharmacy. So I'm going to save that response. I'm also going to send some instructions back to the patient. I sent in your refill, but we haven't seen you in over six months. So please schedule a time to come in for medication review. And then I'm going to leave a note for the staff. Please call this patient and make sure they're scheduled to come in for a medication review. And everything I'm just doing with this patient is going to wind up when we're finished. It creates a task. And then when we're completely finished, all the, all the things we did with this patient will go back to their chart automatically in all scripts pro. So I take care of that patient call because here's what happens next. It calls the patient back. So patient calls in, identifies himself with a date of birth, the patient chart information and the patient's message and, and other information is merged and put on the app so the doctor can decide how they want to respond. 
Now, this next thing is the admin panel. So when I click on load, excuse me, the uh, message comes up. What I'm going to do right now is we're going to switch back over to Allscripts Pro. So I could show you where all this comes into play in all scripts. I mentioned before, the first time the patient called in, um, they created a task because we map all the patient questions when they call into, into uh, different types of tasks. But this patient also requested to speak to the doctor on call. So what we're going to see here is all of that information in uh, all scripts pro. Okay, so I'm logged in. Uh, if I go to my inbox here, there's the call we just did because today's the 24th and it is uh, the time zone that this is set to is 545. So when I first called in, it created this patient case, excuse me, this task. Now, what would happen is if that was just a billing question or some other type of question, it would just wait there until somebody could respond to it. However, when the doctor interacts with the patient through the app, we also create a task that contains all of the interactions between the doctor and the patient and the fact that this patient needs to schedule an appointment. So what I would do is I would call this patient and schedule an appointment, and then I could hit save the chart or whatever it is that I want to do, and I would close it out. That's it. You took care of that call. Um, eventually, what that would do is it would sync up with Call My Doc. It would archive this call because in our system, we have this term archive because we keep these calls forever in the system. However, uh, let's say that uh, I want to work it from this side. I might put a note in here. I would change it to my name. I could click on this. I could read what the patient said. I could play it back. Carl Silva, I lost the prescription. Records is just a snapshot of the patient's chart, so I don't have to necessarily flip back and forth between call my doc and the patient chart. Response, this is uh, all the actions that we took with the patient. So we made a conference call with a patient, uh, we wrote a prescription or a refill, and we sent them this message. Session log is a detailed log of everything that occurred between the patient, call my doc, All Scripts Pro, and the doctor on call. And plus it adds my status note at the bottom. And it says, please make sure, this is a note we left from the app, please make sure that this paper they scheduled to come in for a review. So we'll call them and schedule them because we've got their number. We've got, we've got the preferred number that they want us to call. We've got their name, we've got everything. And also we have a number of status icons. So this one here, this indicates that uh, the little prescription icon indicates that the prescription was sent to the pharmacy. The patient's chart was updated with that medication. The patient was called to tell them about their prescription and where to pick it up and the patient heard the message. So if I was finished with this, I might put something down here that goes. And when I click on that, that winds up going back to the patient's chart. So if we go to that patient's chart, 
We should have double clicked on this. And then it brings it up. And then you click on this thing here that says no. And there are different types of attachments. And we have attached the call my doc complete log of what occurred between the patient call my doc and the doctor here. So when you click on it, uh, it opens up everything. So this is what the patient said when they called in. This is uh, the recording of the conference call, everything that occurred between the doctor and the patient and the app. I lost the prescription that you gave me. So in other words, um, if you open it up, you can actually click on the hot links that are in the patient's chart and it will allow you to play them from the Call My Doc system. And that's pretty much it uh, about how Call My Doc and All Scripts Pro interact end to end. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, please go to our website and let us know what your questions are. Thank you and goodbye.